Hi, it's Michelle Ockers. I have been to the Disrupt Sydney 2015 conference today, 25th of September. The conference is hosted by the University of Sydney School of Business. And one of my key takeouts from the conference, which I wanted to share in this short video, is around the use of the language, um, and in particular the term digital disruption. Because the word disruption has a lot of negative connotations. It implies turmoil, disturbance, um, aberration to normal functioning. Um, and as pointed out by the introductory speaker, Professor Gregory Whitwell, who's the Dean of the University of the Sydney Business School, the term disruption has become overused and devalued as a consequence. Um, Anthony Fennell, who was a keynote speaker from ABC Radio National, went on to talk quite extensively about problems with use of the term and implied that the term can give a sense that we need to shake people out of a torpor uh, in order to change. Um, and he went on to suggest that, contrary to the popular perception that people are resistant to change, human existence is a story of constant change and, and we should focus more on the quality of change rather than the pace of change, knowing that if we do that, people will adapt quite readily to change and embrace change. Um, so I walked away thinking about the way I use language around digital and social business within my organisation and talking about um, creating value, driving growth, about transformation um, rather than about disruption. And I must say, before today, it's not really a term that I had used or um, is kind of the disrupt movement was something that I really had my head around. Um, so it just left me thinking that there wasn't a new term I needed to add to my lexicon, um, but rather look for opportunities to uh, support my organisation to create value through the appropriate deployment of digital technologies, um, social business, and to create good quality change experiences to make the most of social and digital technologies.